Namaste, it's Sahara Rose, and welcome back to the Highest Self Podcast, a place where we discuss what makes you your soul's highest involvement. I'd love to discuss with you two words that I think are really important, especially for those of us on an entrepreneurial path. And those words are alignment and action. And both are equally as important. And let me explain why. So in the entrepreneurial world, we see, you know, the Gary V's and the Tim Ferris's, and maybe you had an entrepreneurship teacher or a father, and it's very, very action-oriented. And it's, how can I make the most of the day? How can I get the most number of things done? How can I be more productive? How can I create more? Which is great. It's very much focused on doing that, which is a wonderful thing, and that's really how we create content. But what they're missing is the alignment, the what comes before that. How can I make sure these actions I'm performing are aligned with my integrity and my highest truth? So that action is missing the predecessor, which is the alignment. Now, when we look at the spiritual components and what many spiritual authors and yoga teachers and masters and gurus and Reiki practitioners and all of those people are saying, it's very, very focused on the alignment and making sure you're in a meditative state, making sure you, your chakras are aligned, making sure your vibration is correct, making sure your self-care practices are, are well. And it's very much focused on that. So, you know, if you really want to follow a strict Ayurvedic day, you're going to spend your entire day just in self-care. You're going to be tongue scraping and dry brushing and oil pulling and neti pot and so many things that you wouldn't even have time to do the action. So we see a lot of the spiritual paths very focused on the alignment. But we as spiritual entrepreneurs have to have a good grasp on both because if we're not aligned, we're taking action that's not aligned with our highest truth. But if we're just focusing on alignment, we end up not taking the action and we end up stuck. And what I see a lot in the spiritual community, wellness community, etc., are a lot of very, very well-intentioned, loving, caring, committed, smart, intelligent people who aren't moving up in their careers. They're not getting more clients. They're not expanding. They're not hitting their financial goals. In fact, many of them, if not probably most of them that I meet, are living paycheck to paycheck. So they're actually not only not thriving, but they're barely even surviving. And these are people who are so smart, so intelligent, are helping so many people. But if you look at their paycheck, it doesn't look like that way. So how can we have both? How can we come from this place of alignment, of wholeheartedness, of centeredness, of truly wanting to serve and still take actions and create and be balanced in our masculine energy or yang energy as well? I think it's really important first from, from the vata level, the, the higher level to look at both sides, look at both sides of ourselves. Many of us who come from a more corporate background, for us, alignment, that sounds like a huge waste of time. Why would I focus on my meditation, my self-care, and taking time off when I have so many things to do? So notice if you're coming from that perspective of, that's not worth my time. That doesn't make productive sense. What's productive to me is what has a tangible, immediate result. And that's how we've been trained to work and think in schools and in, in jobs. So don't be mad at yourself if that's how you think. You were just listening to what you were told. Now, others of us who come from a more spiritual background, I know for me, this was a big block I had. We come from, oh, you know, everything just will happen as it's meant to be. And if I just get myself at the right vibratory state, then doors will just open up for me. And, you know, I just have to work on my manifestation skills. That's really how I get the things I want. And then we read books that are like, if you want to make more money, you got to spend more money because the universe lessons and, you know, go buy this really nice 
designer bag for yourself or go buy yourself a house that's out of your budget because the universe hears you and will say, yes, you're stepping up. I've heard that advice before. And when I really thought about it, I'm like, wow, that's a really good way of getting into a lot of debt. Seriously, if that were the case, then there would be no debt problem. So how can we make the most of of these two worlds? So I think first, notice where you are. Are you in that place where you're maybe spiritual bypassing? You are saying, oh, I'm not an action person because I need to be perfectly aligned and things will just happen to me. Or if you're coming from the super action state where you're saying alignment, that sounds like a load of baloney. I don't listen to that. Then afterwards, begin the dance with the other side. If you are coming from this more action-oriented type of living, this more yang, this more masculine, put in your schedule things that you can do that just fill up your cup. There's no tangible reward for it. There's no paycheck you get at the end. There's no PR reach that happens to you. Things like taking a walk, things like reading, things like going to a healing workshop, yoga class, sound bath, things that only have the purpose of filling up your cup. Now, if you come from this more alignment place, how can you create more action in your life? Who are five people that you can email today that will make a direct impact in your business? How can you show up as a bigger human being? How can you expand your message? How can you take it out of this one person show and turn it into something that transforms way past you and eventually even provides jobs for other people? I think a lot of us, when we start off as entrepreneurs, we feel like we always have to do everything ourselves. And that's not the case. At the beginning, you have to because you are relying on yourself. And it's also really good to know about different parts of your business, like how to do graphic designing, how to do email marketing, how to write a sales page, how to create different um, types of revenue streams, all of that stuff. It's really, really good to know. But as you grow, you can eventually create income that you can hire people to do the things that are not your forte. You can hire a graphic designer. You can hire someone to be in charge of your social media. Whatever is that thing that doesn't feel too good for you, you can eventually expand. You know, for my business, for the first time, I hired a virtual assistant a few months ago, and it's been a game changer for me. Because up until then, for the past seven years, I've been the one doing it all. And the thing is, that kept me playing small. So in this taking more action, it doesn't mean putting more on your plate. It means being smarter about what you're doing, coming forth from a more entrepreneurial mindset of, okay, this is more than just a hobby. For this to be my life's work, I need to create systems to make it grow. And I can speak a lot about the process of creating a business and how businesses change. And I really, my energy is really moving there. I'm feeling so called to share more about this because Almost everyone I meet, I end up literally creating a business for them. And I'm like a triple Capricorn. So I'm like, okay, this is definitely part of my dharma. And I just got an LLC today, got the paperwork, which I'm very excited for. But I just see so many talented, beautiful people like yourself who have such amazing visions, who are just stuck on either side. They're not taking the action or they're not doing the alignment and not realizing that they're equally as important. And what I think we need to bring to the business conversation is why should I take care of myself? Why should I take these herbs? Why should I sleep? You know, a lot of these business entrepreneur gurus and teachers are like, yeah, just stay up all night. Sleep is for the week. You only need four hours of sleep and then work the rest of the time because you're not going to make money in your sleep. Well, that's a really good way of getting adrenal fatigue and burning out and never having the energy to actually run your business because you've burnt it out trying to get it up and running. Because the thing is, once you get your business up and running, you got to keep it running. It doesn't stop. You know, the hustle's really hard, but it, it continues. So we can't go full steam ahead 
because otherwise there's going to be no more steam left. So we have to weave in these self-care practices into our day the same way that we would meetings and grocery trip runs and picking up your kids from school. Put in that walk by the ocean. Put in that stretching on the floor. Put in that foam rolling. Put in that infrared sauna yoga. Whatever it is that fills you up, you're only going to be able to truly create a business you love if you're taking care of yourself. And you're also only going to be able to do it if you're taking action. So I would love to know which side of the spectrum you're on. Are you an action taker who's needing more alignment? Or are you an alignment seeker who's needing more action? And maybe you're needing a little bit of both because it is a dance and I don't think any of us are like perfectly aligned or perfect action takers. We're somewhere in between. So just become conscious of where you are and then start that dance, that push and pull of, you know, I've been taking a lot of action this week and I think it's really important for me to take this Sunday off to just sit and be. Or, wow, I've been stuck repeating myself, saying the same things, complaining about not having a business, complaining about this job, whatever it is, being stuck, 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 and I haven't been moving. So think about where you are and share with me in the Mind Body Balancers Facebook group. We'll start a discussion. Also share it with me on my Instagram at I am Sahara Rose. We also have great discussions there. And if you love more kind of entrepreneurial type content like this, please let me know in the iTunes store, write a review. And as a gift, I will send you the unreleased copy of my book, Eat Right for Your Mind Body Type. This is the first book I ever wrote about Ayurveda and a really good example of doing that thing that you want to do, but making sure you're aligned. So this was the book I wrote before Idiot's Guide to Ayurveda, before I ever had met an author before, let alone became one. And I became super, super aligned with my vision, what I wanted, what I wanted to speak. I wrote it, I did the action, and then I put it together and it turned into this ebook, which has never been released. And I want to send you the first half free simply for writing a review for me in the iTunes store. Just simply take a screenshot before you hit submit and email it to me over at Sahara, S-A-H-A-R-A at eat feelfresh.com and I'll send you back the first half of my unreleased book, Eat Right for Your Mind Body Type. Namaste.